Hi guys, it's Miss Sophie again, and I am coming to you to film the second um, part to my birthday series. As I told you guys, I have a lot of different things that are going to be coming in. And I actually have um, pretty much a Chanel haul cosmetic wise to show you. Um, I'm pretty excited because I just had one of my items come today. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, this will all be from Chanel. And this is the bag and the lovely ribbon that my sales associate gave me, which was very, very nice. And the first product that I'm going to review will be the um, Chanel Soleil de Tan. And it has the gold C's because it's part of the tan collection. And I'm very excited about this. I'm actually wearing it today. I do not like foundation. Um, so this was something I was looking at different YouTube reviews. I was looking at Nordstrom.com just trying to kind of figure out um, how I would like this. And this is actually the bronzing base. And... That's how it looks. And never mind the whiplash in the middle. It's actually hairs from my brush that got stuck in there. But it smells amazing. And it's very, very creamy. It's kind of like a, a mousse. It's not a powder. And I'm pretty sure if you know Chanel and you've seen the reviews, then you're pretty up to speed on this. But it is an amazing product it's a bronzing base but because of my complexion I can kind of use it um, in lieu of a foundation so I can just kind of put it all over and it's really really great um, it matches my complexion it evens everything out and like I said I don't like foundation I don't like matte I don't like kicky I don't like any of that but this right here just looks like my skin but better and really helps it to breathe and just evens everything out and again you know you got to leave it to Chanel to have that beautiful packaging and this is like plastic it's not glass it's like frosted plastic but I just love the gold C's and to go with that I bought the Chanel Le Beige and um, I kind of just pieced this together myself and when I went to the Chanel counter um, the makeup artist really you know he was like you know I really had an aha moment because I just never thought to use the Soleil and the Le Beige this way but what I do is I just kind of put in with this LeBay with the Soleil, you, you really want to just use a little bit, you know, a little bit goes a long way. Don't do too much, but just lightly put it on. And if you want to build it up, you can, but it does not take very much. So with that, I then put the LeBeige on top and this is 20 and this is going to be really light, but it's, it's very, um, great for my complexion it brings the warmth and with the labages they recommend that you go um, a shade lighter to bring warmth you can go the same color to just kind of give you a nice glow and you can go a shade darker now i've seen a lot of re mixed reviews about the labage and let me just be clear about something when you get this, you need to really understand and have a realistic expectation as to what this is supposed to do. This is not a foundation. I've seen or heard a lot of people say, oh, I don't like it, it's terrible, it's not worth buying. There's no coverage. It's not meant to cover. Now for somebody like me who doesn't like foundation, I don't mind the flaws of my skin showing through, this is a dream for me. But for somebody who wants full coverage, if you're not understanding what this is supposed to do, you'll be disappointed. This is kind of like, I can't even say it's a setting powder. It's really a more of a bring what's within type powder. It's more like an enhancer, you know, um, 
if you will you put this on to just give it that extra umph if you're a foundation wearer you will put this on top if you know whatever you're wearing you will put this on top it's just like it's not even the icing on the cake it's the flowers that are on the cake it's you know it's just an enhancer to bring warmth to the skin or you can go a shade darker and give a healthy glowy bronzing look to the skin but it's not a bronzer or you can go the same color and still just kind of put that extra mm, that extra sparkle or that extra something to finish up your look so I look at this as an enhancing powder, not a foundation, not a setting powder, but an enhancing powder, and it is awesome sauce. So it comes in this packaging, and I'll cover up this. It has a nice big mirror, and it leans back at about a 45 degree angle as opposed to a 90 degree like this. So it gives you more visibility and viewability when you're looking in the mirror. Um, and this it comes with a nice oval brush and it has Chanel on it and the bristles as you all have heard they're very 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 soft um, and sorry my daughter just did a cameo in my video but um, they're very soft like that and then it has this little tray, this part right here, it comes out. So it's just a little piece of plastic and it lays on top of this. And then this is the product. And I have to tell you that this right here is unlike anything I have ever used or seen. Um, it is pillowy soft and I mean really like if you were to touch it you don't touch it too hard because it's and it's kind of it's kind of domed up so it's easy to get to but it's pillowy soft and then I'll just swatch it right here so and see how that just you know it starts off light but then it just blends into the skin and it looks amazing like and it smells oh it smells so i'm sorry i'm blinding you guys it smells so good like this smells really nice so i'm really in love with this and like you all know if you've been looking at my older videos you know that i'm an avid dior wearer i you know that's all i 